Dear 2016, boy oh boy, what a year it's been. Let's start from the beginning. It all started with me coming back from Paris and transferring to a university I thought I wasn't even going to like. But it ended up being better than I could have ever hoped for. I was upgraded from the life I had created in France and had to start all over again. I didn't know anyone in San Diego and moved into my dorm room at the beginning of January. And basically went from there and met some of the most amazing people I've ever come across. 2016 taught me so many things. It taught me to enjoy camping. And to enjoy a lot. It taught me to surf. It taught me to push myself out of my comfort zone and to see the amazing repercussions that would follow. It taught me to live in the present and to never take any day for granted. This year has been filled with so many adventures and the chance to travel to new places. A huge highlight of this year was spending a month in Lebanon. I had never been to the Middle East before, let alone lived in the slums of a foreign city. Every time I struggled to complete a daily task because the water stopped running and the electricity no. ran out. There's no more water. Our system now puts water and electricity to work. We figured it out! Led me to cultivate greater compassion for the Syrian, Palestinian, Armenian, and other refugees that reside there. <laughs> I was blown away by the immense beauty of this country. And the kindness and hospitality of the people there. And grew in ways I never would have imagined. I also traveled to Puerto Rico with two rad girls who I barely knew at the time, but now are some of my dearest friends and roommates. I had the chance to go back to the city that will forever hold my heart, Paris. We are currently under the book. <laughs> I visited Kansas, which, well, is pretty much summed up with this clip. I moved into my first ever apartment with five of my friends here in San Diego, which has definitely been quite a blast. This year has been filled with music, and laughter, and summer days, and summer nights. so, so many stunning sunsets. I learned so many new things in and out of the classroom. I learned to be unapologetically myself and fearlessly open to others, and in the process found people that I connect with on many different levels. There are plenty of ups and downs. But I'm thankful for every memory, the good and even the bad. The best part of 2016, by far, was the people I was surrounded by. I made the friends I've always wanted, but it was a year filled with love and adventures with these amazing people. I can undoubtedly say this has been the best year of my life to date. As 2016 comes to a close, I find myself incessantly dreaming about the future and the uncertainty of it. I don't know where I'm headed and that terrifies me, but I'm also thrilled with the freedom of the unknown. 2016, you've been a year full of firsts and the beginning of so many things to come. I'm so thankful for how rad this year's been and cannot wait to see what 2017 holds.